Good evening. A 26-year veteran of New Mexico State Police is dead. Lieutenant Michael Avalucio was killed this afternoon when his truck flipped over on Highway 84 south of Tierra Maria. Investigators are still trying to learn why that happened. News 13's Shauna Clark is here with the latest. Well, as fellow officers say, Lieutenant Avalucio was one of the hardest working lawmen they knew. Eligible to retire years ago, he stayed on because he loved what he did. It's a very, very sad day for the state police. Lieutenant Michael Avalucio was a well-known officer among New Mexico State Police. Law enforcement is relieved, relaxed. No, we are relieved that we have a, what we believe is the suspect. This is Lieutenant Avalucia back in March. He was the one who talked to the press soon after fugitive Kurt Sorbeck was shot to death by an Otero County deputy. Earlier this year, he worked alongside his fellow officers to take down meth dealers in Otero and Lincoln County. When duty called, no matter day or night, he went, he answered the call. He was also the commander of the state's explosive ordnance disposal unit. That's why he was in northern New Mexico today. Police say Avalucia had supervised the disposal of some explosives in the Chama area. After that was done and he started home, Avalucia's truck crashed just a few miles south of Tierra Amaria. Mike was involved in a single vehicle accident. The vehicle did roll over. Um, it is still under investigation. Avalucia was ejected and pronounced dead at a nearby medical clinic. State Police Chief Ferron Sagata flew to the scene as soon as he heard the news. I'd like to start off by sending our condolences to the Avalucia family. Uh, we're going to miss him. And it's unclear whether or not Lieutenant Avalucia was wearing a seatbelt or not. Investigators say that's one of the things they'll look into. Dick, back to you. All right, Shauna, Lieutenant Avalucia was a New Mexico native, and he actually lived in Las Cruces. He was deputy commander of the Alamogordo 